Golly, that's a large mouth. Well, we broke the ice, folks. That's one species we've caught with the beetle spin. The old beetle spin. And actually, this is not a beetle spin. This is a bet's spin. But they're still, it's in the same category as beetle spin type baits. Been around a long time, and they catch a lot of fish. No doubt. Let's let him go. Go on back. Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do today, or for a few hours, is I'm going to obligate to this Betts spin. Now, these baits can be modified to catch more fish. In fact, I have a video about that, how to modify these baits and balance them up to where you can catch more fish. Now, to me, these type of baits, well, they're just miniature spinner baits. That's all they are. In fact, that bass that I caught was after some small bluegill about that long, little bitty ones. And I chunked that old spin up there, the head part of the fish, and caught him. And that's all they are to it. Now, this is a deadly crappie bait also especially the way that i have it modified right now the water temperature is at 57 degrees on top let's catch a fish and i must mention you know this bait right here brings back a lot of memories a lot a lot of childhood memories probably one of the first artificials that i've ever fished is probably going to be a beetle spin I'm not quite positive about that, but I believe that's right. Now, what I'm going to be using is a six and a half foot sow belly rod, light action rod. And this is a 2500 size Fago LT, or Fago LT 2500 size reel right here, folks. It's a Daiwa reel. And I have eight pound braid, and this is a six pound test fluorocarbon line attached with a double uni knot i have a leader of probably around six feet long and i've got a palomar knot right here in my bait okay now let's see if we can i seen another little bass or two right there let's see if we can we can catch him that was a bluegill that bumped it right then these baits generate a lot of strikes and like like i mentioned they're fantastic crappie baits they will catch the crappie y'all see that pick 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 that's a little bluegill a little bass or a crappie or a big a bigger bluegill i eat that bait without any trouble i just gotta buy it right then good looking spot right here we got some water running in right here and by that water running in, it's drawing a lot of small bait fish, uh, a lot of bluegill. I've noticed there's just tons of little bluegill in here, and that's what them little bass uh, were feeding on, but they're gone now. I like to throw this bait around treetops. Uh, just, I like to fish everything with the beetle spin. Treetops, aquatic vegetation, docks, oh, rocks, anything like that. It's just a great bait for that, folks. There he is. I got that crappie. I was fixing. That's a white crappie, too. Told y'all it was a crappie. I was fixing. The, that's a pretty good one, too. I was a fixing to use a different method to go ahead and catch this fish because what had happened that fish hit the blade and they'll do that a lot of times when they're not active I've observed it many times and instead of targeting putting a target on the bait that's a big word I can't say it like it's spelled but instead of putting emphasis on the bait <laughs> i'm getting tickled um they hit the the blade and that's a fact because i've seen it before so i was fixing to take a small jig and go ahead and catch this crappie 
um, a lot of times if they're not real active they'll do that when it comes to a beetle spin but that white crappie did obligate and that's a good fish <coughs> good little crappie let's let him go all right that's a bass a largemouth bass and a crappie on a beetle spin. Woo. There he goes. Dynamite little bait, folks. Dynamite little bait. Now these blades right here, I have all kinds of different size blades uh, and components for baits like this. Sometimes I'll put a willow leaf blade right here sometimes you need flash instead of vibration uh, when it comes to, to crop or any other fish now we might have fired these fish up let's see if we can get another one to bite right here there's a fish another crappie Look here. Not a very big one, but we got him. We triggered a bite. Now, I've done something a little bit different right here, folks. Ah, barely got him. I almost ripped it. Golly, what a bass. Back up in that corner. Y'all see that? Might have been two or three. They've come back up in that corner, but that's a good fish right there. <laughs> that's a good crappie right there. He's bigger than what I thought. Let's let him go. Well, anyway, I want to show y'all what I've done right here. Excuse me for getting excited, but I just do that. I went ahead and did what I was talking about, and I changed. I'm using now a willow leaf blade. It's a gold one. The reason why is because it's overcast so see you can change blade these blades out on these baits and modify them any way you want to folks and uh to 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 make these fish strike just a straight steady i mean just a steady a straight just a steady retrieve is about all it takes for the beetle spin I mean, you can reel it like I'm doing right there. See, I'm at around three feet deep. That's about where the crappie's been. And just kill it. And it, 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 it When you kill it like that, it's, it's going to flutter on down. And a lot of times, that's when a crappie will hit it or any other fish. Um, same way as if you're fishing with a spinnerbait for bass folks let me put it that way same deal same exact deal there's another one same tree folks they're reacting to that that gold blade a lot better and the willow leaf now i took the little colorado blade off or Indiana, it was more like a little Indiana blade. And uh, they, they're starting to hit it now. Little black crappie, let's let him go. All right, well, make another cast. Right there, about two and a half, three feet deep is where these fish are right now on this particular top. I'm using a 132nd ounce right now jig head when I'm fishing up shallow like this that's uh, my favorite size but now if I wanted to fish a little bit deeper well I would use a I would put a 1 16th of an ounce jig head on here so I could fish a little bit deeper so there's another way you can modify these baits there's another one. That crappie was up off the bank a little bit. 
a little bit farther than others. I believe it's a white crappie. Good fish too. Look at there, what a big old white crappie, folks. Look how pretty and broad. He ain't very long, but he's broad and thick across the back. You know, folks, that's exactly what I've been trying to talk about. How effective that bait right there is for crappie just by modifying it it's not just a bait for ponds excellent bait all the way across the board rivers creeks lakes it don't make no difference Woo. y'all catching any fish how you doing there holly I ain't seen you in a long time. I want y'all to look. I mean, there's no way in the world I can go fishing without catching a catfish. That's a channel cat, and he's wrapped up. That's why he's not. Look at him. He's wrapped himself up in a big way. Look at him. He's going nuts. I cannot go fishing without catching a catfish. I believe he's unwrapped himself now. He's fighting right. Now, I can't tell y'all how that fish... Yeah, he's unwrapped. <laughs> I can't tell y'all how that... Golly, that's a good channel, cat. Quit. No, he ain't. Still wrapped up. There he goes. Quit, quit. He, when he hit that, it was boom. No doubt about it. We'll net him and get him loosed. I don't want him to tear my spin up. Gah! That's a lot bigger channel cat than I thought he was. Healthy son of a gun. They. But that's a pretty good sized channel cat. Knock the absolute far out of that bait folks let's let him go you know ever since I quit smoking I have to eat candy all the time that's another habit I need to break but it's better than smoking so excuse the crunching and it's peppermint candy Whoa. let's let him go You want to back your grunting thing? Yeah. Now then, I gotta get the slime off my line. It's hard to talk without moving your lips, but we can do it around here. That old woman talk all day and not say a word. She flaps them old gums all the time, not say nothing on it. She's aggravating old woman, got hair on her chin. All right, folks, let's let's talk about this. First thing is the blades. If y'all look at these blades right here, these are, now on this, this particular one right here, I have a willow leaf on here, which is this blade right here. This blade is a lot different from these two other blades right here. I treat this crappie fishing a lot like you would bass fishing. Now, this blade right here is primarily, which is a uh, willow leaf blade, it's mainly for flash. So this is a good one for when it's raining and if you're fishing clear water and you're wanting a little bit of flash. Gold is always better than silver um, uh, blades when, when it comes to that, or, or in my opinion, they are. That's just one of the things that I do. And this blade right here is a Colorado blade. If you'll look at it real close there's, close, there's a lot of difference in between this blade and this one. This one right here is an Indiana blade. This one creates flash and a little bit of vibration. This one right here creates a whole lot of vibration. So this is a good uh, muddy water blade 
or this is a good uh, dingy water blade. Sometimes I'll paint these chartreuse orange or white. Or sometimes I'll just leave them that way because they're doing their job. They're, they're vibrating in that dingy water. This is right in between both of them. So this is a good all-around all blade to use. But um, that's the blades, and they're very important. Just like if you're bass fishing, uh, they're important when it comes to spinnerbait fishing. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about tweaking this bait and balancing this bait a lot better than what it is when it comes out of the pack folks all right what we're talking about right now is how to balance this bait out and now this is a bets bait right here and if you notice you have all of this to one side see this unclamps then you put your jig head on, okay, and then clamp it back. It's imbalanced. It's going to come through the water like this. It's going to lean this way as you're working the bait at an angle instead of coming through the water straight. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of that to balance the arm up. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In other words, I'm just going to take... And right here, y'all can see right here where the circle stops. I'm going to go up above it about a sixteenth of an inch and clip that off. Okay. Now, we'll put her bait on. And slip it on just like that. And then take a pair of pliers. And bend that just a little bit, just a little bit of a bend, and then take this and watch this, it'll just snap. If I can grab a hold of it just right. There it goes. It snapped. Now that is free. It can move, and that's a good deal right there. What it's done when it comes through the water now, it's balanced. It's not going to go to one side or the other. It's going to come through there straight towards you and not leaning. And this blade is going to spin. Now, if you want to, now this is a 132nd of an ounce jig head with a crappie magnet on it. Now, I use this uh, basically in shallow water when I'm not wanting to fish over two to three feet deep. It works real well. But if I'm wanting to fish deeper, and if I'm wanting to use a little bit bigger blade, usually I'll go to a 1 16th of an ounce a jig head. And in this case, this is just a little Z-Man bait right here, which are good baits. And that way I can fish a little bit deeper. You know, like from the 5, 6, 7 feet deep in that range. And you can even go to a 1 8th of an ounce. But now I'm going to tell you, Blades makes a big difference in your fishing. Uh, you can incorporate them in different ways according to the weather conditions and actually get more fish to bite. Instead of just accepting, let me get one of these new ones out of the pack, the blade that comes on the spinner or on the, the, the actual bait, instead of accepting that, you can experiment and use different blades and a lot of times you can make up a bait is what i'm trying to say that it catch far more fish than except in the way that they've prefabricated the bait i hope that explained that uh but to me it's very important and to me well i catch a lot more fish by doing that well all right folks we caught a few on the beetle spin today one of the oldest, probably the first artificial I've ever used. Uh, I believe it would be either the beetle spin right here or rooster tail. One of them. It's hard for me to remember that far back. That's been a long time ago. But that's a great bait to catch a lot of different types of fish on, including crappie. I want to say 
God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Hey, whoa, this net. And remember, go fishing when you can, but call this good period.